need you. Hey, how are you? This is for you guys. If you come to the point of your life that they stop giving you the validation that you needed, it might be the God is trying to point you back to himself for what you never should have depended on people for you to begin with. To all Christian ladies, please repeat after me. I am a child of God. My Heavenly Father is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Therefore, I am a princess who is loved and treasured. I have a royal duty to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and to serve His people. Hence, from this day forward, by God's grace, I will perform my duties. I will not lower my standards. I will not intentionally breach holy protocols. Amen. Hi, how are you? If you work hard, you make money, and you only do it for yourself, that's not life. You improve yourself inside and improve yourself outside. And sooner or later, you seek for people who need your help and you make their lives better. And you become stronger like that sponge which can absorb anything and can project positive vibes no matter what. That can inspire anyone that you will be a good example. And that's a good life. That's a good purpose. Being strong to live to the fullest by creating goodness to others for majority's goodness is a way of serving God. And by doing your best to what's good for the majority's goodness. And that is what can give you real happiness and peace of mind at the end of the day. So I hope you continue to what's good. Have a good day. Hey, how are you? This is for you guys. If you come to the point of your life that they stop giving you the validation that you needed, it might be the God is trying to point you back to himself for what you never should have depended on people for you to begin with.
this world teaches us two important principles as it relates to the submission of wives to their husbands. God tells wives to submit to their husbands in everything. Ephesians 5 verse 24 But the apostle has been told to disobey. God said that we ought to obey God rather than men. In Acts 5 verse 29 So when we take the whole counsel of God on the matter of submission, we see that wives are to obey their husbands in all things unless their husbands directly tell them to do something that would violate God's law. It really is that simple. Submission doesn't mean that the men in authority, whether in the church or in the home, are always right. They aren't. They are sometimes and often wrong. The sin as we do. Submission doesn't mean blind obedience. It doesn't mean that we sin in order to submit. It doesn't mean that you overlook sin in the authority. Deuteronomy 4 verse 2 in KGV So the truth about the submission of wives to their husbands is very simple. The wife is to submit to her husband in all areas of her life and everything he wishes her to do or not do as long as he doesn't ask her to sin against God. Even if he asks her to sin against God, he should respectfully refuse his request. But this doesn't mean she stops submitting in every other way, like her responsibilities as a wife. Even if her husband is living a sinful life, either as a Christian or a non-Christian, she must submit to him because she is not responsible for his sin. She is only responsible for what she promised to God. As believers, we will often disagree on Bible interpretations and what is and what is not sin. But to acknowledge that something is a sinful activity and then say God is okay with us doing that sinful activity under certain circumstances is the height of hearsay. We are to teach the whole counsel of God. We are not to go to the left or the right. This is for the guys out there. I think there is no decent woman who wants to be in submission to a man who is not in submission to goodness and to God. So this question is for you guys. Because how can you expect to lead a wife and a family one day or in the future if you cannot even lead yourself? That you cannot even control yourself. That you cannot even control or discipline yourself from temptations nowadays. Now is the time to lead or to follow what is good. To train yourself to follow what is good. Because remember, a real leader is a real follower of goodness. A real follower of God. So train yourself. So that you will be a model to your future family. Dear Universe, if ever I never get successful in the future, because I have a lot of fears, please, will you at least allow me to be happy for having a lot of love from either my future partner, future family, or my current family, friends, and other people. Thank you.